Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am available for code reviews, contracting, and training. Now in this episode, maybe again will be a little bit controversial. I've done that a couple times recently. But I would like to point out that C++ is not an object-oriented programming language. In fact, if you go back and look at any of the history of C++, any of the comments that Bjarne has made, it was never intended to be strictly an object-oriented programming language. And that is the key. C++ does have some object-oriented possibilities. We can create some sort of struct, and we can add data to it, and we can add methods to it. Something like this. And this gives it object-oriented capability. And interestingly here, we can actually see that we have invoked undefined behavior because we see that main is not actually returning a value into EIX, and that is because we have left data uninitialized, but we can give it a default value as of C++11, so now zero is returned for main. That is a strong aside. So yes, C++ has object-oriented features. But unlike Java, for example, you can have free functions. Most object-oriented programming languages don't allow you to do something like this, which is a function that doesn't have any place inside of an object. And clearly it's going to be able to do this because of the heritage from C. But C++ is also a generic programming language. So now we have a version that can take two integers, or if we pass it to other values, it will instantiate this template and we can do generic programming. And this gives us things that we can do at compile time. But C++ also has some features of functional programming languages. And now, obviously, if you watch this channel at all, you are familiar with lambdas. And this ability to define this anonymous function with a lambda starting in C++11, yeah, that's new, that's cool, that's, you know, a kind of functional thing that we can do here. But this is also something that C++ has been able to do for quite a while. Now, granted, I am cheating a little bit here by using C14's ability to just have auto return type deduction in a templated function, but I'm still going to go with it. So we can pass functions around as if they were objects. Now, I've changed some names here so that I don't have a problem with having to convince the compiler exactly which object I'm referring to, but I can call the function with add, like this. And I'm passing a function to another function. And the compiler is perfectly OK with this. There's no warnings generated or anything. And as we can see, 3 is returned for main. Or I can pass an object here as a function to the same thing. And it, it would work with anything that has a call operator. So that includes functions, function pointers, function objects. I can even do it like this. So C++ is not strictly an object-oriented programming language. It is a functional programming language, a procedural programming language, object-oriented, and has generic programming um, paradigms. You need to fully understand all of these and take advantage of them and know how and when to use them appropriately to get the most out of C++. So thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe.